Hi folks! In my video where I briefly showed measuring the high voltage being used to run my lifter, I realized some of you might be interested in more info about the high voltage probe itself. So here you go. This is my Fluke 80K-40 high voltage probe. There's the packaging it came in. It's capable of measuring up to 40 kilovolts, which is good because I use it with my 30 kilovolt homemade power supply. Um, this is the probe tip which you put against the high voltage point that you're measuring. It basically has two sets of wires coming out of it. One is this uh, cable right here that has two banana plugs on the end. Uh, this banana plug is ground or common and this one right here is positive. So this is what you measure against these two right here. And conveniently enough this plugs into my meter. Just like that. Um, the other thing coming out of here is this ground wire which has this ground clip. Electrically the ground banana plug is connected to the same point that this uh, ground clip is inside here. So that means this is in fact grounded as long as this is grounded. And I guess the purpose for that is so that A it has a ground reference and B so that if there's a short inside it'll go to ground instead of going to the meter. Here it is connected up to a uh, circuit for measuring the voltage going to a, my lifter right here. I simply have the probe tip in contact with the high voltage positive end of the circuit which is coming from the power supply. And here's the ground clip and that one simply goes to that common ground point right down there which is a ground for the power supply. And then the other cable with the two banana plugs, the positive and the, um, uh, the ground and common go into my analog multimeter. Let me just quickly show it to you in action. The uh, probe is good for a 10 mega ohm uh, impedance uh, multimeter which luckily I have. Um, now to use it, um, my power supply is capable of putting out 30 kilovolts. So I'm going to put the meter on the 30 volt DC scale. Right there. Um, now to convert the voltage, what I do is I multiply that by 1000 for this particular probe. So 30 volts will be 30 kilovolts. And since I'm on the 30 volt scale, I look at the 3 here. That 3 is actually a 30. That 2.5 is actually uh, 25, that's uh, uh, 20 uh, times 1,000, of course, so that's uh, 25 kilovolts, that's 30 kilovolts. First, I'll turn on the meter. Now the power supply. And watch the dial as the lifter flies. So I'm up to 20,000 uh, volts. And there we go, it's flying and I'm at, there you go, so that's around 27 kilovolts, uh, 27 and a half. Oh, it's an uh, arc there, that's why it jumped. So that's the probe in action. We'll just take it apart here. Here we have two uh, thin film resistors. I'll just give you a close up of this section here. So I've got the uh, ground clip wire here, which connects to all this metal here. Then I've got the other cable, which has the two wires for the banana plugs, the uh, positive and the ground banana plug. And the ground banana plug also connects to this section right here, so it's connected to the ground as well. The other, uh, the positive, goes to this plastic tube, which then continues down here to the resistor, and the ground also connect continues here, supposedly to another resistor, I guess. I don't know for sure. And I'm guessing the spacing right here is probably set for arcing, so um, if there is an arc, it'll go here and then to ground instead of to the meter. Anyway, there are more details for my high voltage power supplies and my high voltage probes, including a larger one I made myself, in the equipment section of my website. That's uh, rimstar.org slash equip. Well, thanks for watching. You can see more videos like this on my YouTube channel, rimstar.org. That includes the one about measuring both the high voltage and the current for my lifter. There's also one with step-by-step -step details of making your own lifter. And picking one at random, there's a video about how to make your own small Van de Graaff generator. And be sure to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a comment or question below. Bye for now!